hey, we want to dance on Friday after the show. To, at the end of the show, we like to dance, but we want your help by picking the song we dance to. Go to our website, and these are your choices today. In honor of the uh, Royals coming to California, Prince 1999, Fergie London Bridge, Elvis Little Less Conversation because he's a king, Queen Crazy Little Thing called Love. Least pick one, just randomly. The London Bridge. I was listening to that the other day, and I, you know who I thought of? Mm. Marcus Allen. Let's vote. Let's Don't you always let's think of Marcus leading. Allen when you see Fergie? Oh, look at this. It's really close here. But Queen is leading, followed by Fergie. There you go. Fergie. Fergie.com. Fergie. <laughs> Why don't you uh, drop drop, Mark? I just I wasn't sure the connection between me and Fergie. I like Fergie. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I've just so always made that connection. Don't you always really? think of Marcus Allen when you think of Queen? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's In my that. mind, you're kind of the male equivalent of Fergie. Hey, you know, something I just... <laughs> You're the male Fergie. What is that? What does you that mean? The male Fergie and that means your wife would be Josh Dumel. Yeah, my wife's the female equivalent of Josh Dumel. She and in a couple is. years, you'll your be old queen. Your <laughs> See, you're, you're our local male Fergie. I don't even know what that means. But Congratulations I, you, on that. You did remind me of something. Don, were you here when a young lady performed on that stage right over there named Andy Allo? She's been on the show a couple times. Yes. Anybody know who she is? Yes. I don't remember her. Go to GoodDaySacramento.com yes. and, and get video of Andy Allo. She's excellent. She just got hired by Prince. She's his what? opening act. Oh, really? The what? world tour. Well, hey, Woo! hey now, congratulations Woo! to Kicking you. Kicking off the tour in Paris. How cool is that? Just awesome. a great voice. Yeah. See what Good Day can do for you, too? Mm -hmm. And we're going to find out now. We, we've got the guy that, that won our trip to the to the space shuttle today. The, this guy, uh, he played the game show with you. His name is uh, Rob, Rob Matthews. Yeah, Rob Matthews, uh, great guy. If you take a look at my PC, he's already started shooting some of his pictures our way. And the thing about it, as we said in the rules, the shuttle, you're guaranteed for an opportunity to see the shuttle launch. Keyword being opportunity. Right, that's the, the CBS legal word. Because if you look at the skies in the background, of all the pictures that he's taken. If you take a look at my PC, you'll notice. Look at that. Lots of clouds moving in. Not looking great. Looks very ominous, I think. Took a lot of great pictures, though. He gets to go either way. It's not a bad deal. Three days in Florida, get to do whatever you want, hang out at the Kennedy Space Center, and he gets to go places at the Kennedy Space Center that most civilians don't. And you were telling me, that, with no offense to the other people that played the game that day here in studio, he was the one guy who's really a space nut, who really was into NASA, didn't necessarily want the big uh, free trip to Florida. He wanted a really good see the space shuttle. Yeah, if you look at video of the contest, we had three contestants, then it was knocked down to two. Of the three, he's the guy that lives, eats, and breathes NASA. The other two, I think they would have been fine just, you know, going to... Going to Hard Rock Cafe. Exactly, just to check it out Florida. But this guy lives it, eats it, and breathes it. I'm trying to get him on the phone right now. This is the, uh, the big Transformers Dark of the Moon showdown that they did in order to win the trip. So we, uh, we're trying to call him right now. Are is we getting him? Phone's not working. Is that the video with the with the secret word with my safe word on it? Exactly. Had your safe word. <laughs> this is why I respect NASA so much. Why? Because they can send people to the moon. Yeah. And dude, 30 years ago, mm -hmm. they could get a we could get a live TV shot from the moon. And now we can't but get the guy. Good on the day, telephone. Sacramento has trouble getting people on the phone in Florida. These things happen. Call me guy in Florida. Anyway, we'll check in with him a little bit later on, and I, I sure hope that the shuttle mission goes forward for this guy, because this will be a life-changing experience for him. I do for everybody. Every, you know, as a, as a child of the space generation with Apollo and everything else, I'm sad to see it go. Still makes me, uh, as jive as it sounds, proud to be an American, everybody. Let's go, USA. It's the end of an era. There you go. I bleed red, white, and blue. What are you going to do, get mad at me for it? I'm a super patriot. True, boo. Coming up, we're going to check out the newest exhibit at the National Train Show going on this weekend. And 